Thanks for joining us. A rowdy night at Winber Stadium last Friday. Three separate coaches from the visiting team are being investigated for incidents which happened during the game against Connemouth Township. Now, there were hundreds of fans at the game, many of them witnessing what happened, and word spread like wildfire on social media over the weekend. Our Maria Miller went straight to the PIAA today, the governing body of high school sports, and she joins us tonight with the details. Maria? Well, Marty Jen, the local chapter of the PIAA says it's very aware of what happened on Friday, but says it's in the school district's hands right now. The school districts are not yet commenting, but they are investigating. And what we can tell you tonight is that there were three separate incidents. Now, District 5, PIAA District 5 Committee Chairman Virgil Palumbo confirmed this afternoon that each incident involved a separate Connemaw Township coach. The only one he could comment on, though, happened near the end of the game. He says the head coach of Connemaw Township quite questioned a call on the field and got ejected from the game. And because of that, he will be suspended, required to sit out during this week's homecoming game at Connemaw Township. That's a PIAA rule. Now, as we said, there were two other incidents, one that we know involved another coach being handcuffed by police after the game. But Connemaw Township Superintendent Gary Buxton tells me that coach was not tased as has been rumored throughout town. So what happens next? Well, Palumbo says both districts are required to conduct their own investigations and report their findings to District 5 next week. Until then, we won't know much more, but he did make a point to say that, quote, Connemaw Township and Winbur student athletes were not involved whatsoever. All involved parties were adults. The players displayed sportsmanship through the course of the entire game and properly shook hands afterward. He says they should be commended. Now, Connemaw Township Super Superintendent says the incidents will be brought up at tonight's school board meeting, but because they deal with personnel, they will be discussed behind closed doors. He also told me that no one from Winbur played any role in Friday night's incidents, and he says he's already called Winbur and apologized on behalf of his entire district. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.